Hey everybody, it's Keiko Sugihara from Asian Boss. If you've ever been abroad, you know that other countries measure things in liters, kilometers, Celsius, while here in America, we are one of the last few holdouts. So we're on the streets of Pasadena, California to see if the average American can figure out the metric system. We're gonna ask them a few questions, quiz them, see how they do. I'm very excited. Here we go. Did you know that the US doesn't use the same measuring system as the rest of the world. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> you know? Yes, I know. Do you know what that system is called that everybody else uses? Metric. Yes. The, we use the Imperial. They use the metric system. Yes. Okay. Great. Well, today, just for kicks, uh, we're just going to quiz you a little bit on the metric system. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Anybody that has ever smoked pot knows about grams, ounces, and pounds. So. What's your question? A, a pound? Uh, 16 ounces? <laughs> All right, so if it's five degrees Celsius, is that winter or summer weather? Uh, winter. Fall weather. How should you dress for that type of weather? Layers, layer it up, because if, if not, you're going to freeze to death. <laughs> That's pretty dang cold, isn't it? That would be, I'd wear a coat. So what about 40 degrees Celsius? Do you think that is hot or cold? I think that's still cold, I think, maybe. Summer weather, right? Yeah, I mean. Okay. Like, I think it's like 70 degrees, right? Or it's more or less of that? Can you convert 40 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit? No, but I can guess. 80? I know that uh, zero in Celsius is freezing whereas 32 is in Fahrenheit uh, boiling point to something like 220 in Fahrenheit and I think it's somewhere around a hundred five degrees Celsius is about 41 degrees Fahrenheit and so 40 degrees Celsius is like 104 degrees Fahrenheit that's gross I don't like that I've endured that I don't like it so I got it all mixed up and flipped around sick so that means you don't wear anything. <laughs> exactly. That's what I would do. <laughs> of course. So next up, units of length. If somebody is 150 centimeters tall, does that sound tall or short to you? That sounds average. Okay. Tall? I guess kind of tall. Isn't that like a third of an inch-ish? So that would be short. It's short. Okay. Small. Yeah. The smaller than... Uh, than uh, a circus act miniature man, yeah. Um, what if somebody is 190 centimeters tall? Do you think that's tall or short? Ooh, probably still short. Tall. Very small. Less than a foot. Maybe like medium? Like maybe to my like shoulder. Okay. So 150 centimeters is roughly 4'11", and 190 centimeters is roughly 6'2". What the heck? How is this such a... Wow, yeah. Okay, all right, that's not as off as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, I'm off on that one. Centimeters, I think, is a teeny little one. Those are millimeters. That's where I messed up. Let's move on to weight. If a girl is 70 kilograms, does that sound, you know, a lot or a little to you? No idea. Weight-wise, a lot. I think that'd be a lot. That sounds like a little. Like average, I think? I mean, I've been wrong, so I'm going to say that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's actually like 100, 154 pounds. I got two right. I, no, one, I think. I don't know. <laughs> um, can you guess how much you weigh in kilograms? I don't know how much. Uh, uh, maybe like 60 kilograms. Okay. Maybe 85 kilograms. I think I'm 60. Kilograms you multiply by 2.2. .2. So now I'm going to ask you about speed. Um, if someone is driving 190 kilometers an hour, is that going fast or slow? That's really fast. <laughs> it's pretty fast. Yeah, okay. Would you drive at 190 kilometers an hour in your neighborhood? I would not. In my neighborhood, yes. Okay. No, never. Without dying, I'd <laughs> probably die. That's probably slow. No. Yeah, it's like slowish. Okay, so if one kilometer is 0.62 miles, um, that means that 190 kilometers an hour is about 118 miles an hour. Never mind, I can't try that in my neighborhood. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> be speeding, huh? <laughs> if I was in Germany, I would drive that fast. Yes. They drive really? That on the freeway, and then they put their hand out through the uh, the uh, sunroof to move along faster. So now moving on, how many liters of water do you think you need to drink in order to be healthy? This is an answer I should know. Um, five or six liters. Okay. Two liters. One, two. I don't know. I don't drink a lot of water. I drink brisk. <laughs> I mean, eight ounces of water and then translating to liters. I'm not sure. Maybe like five. So eight, eight ounce glasses, which is about... 1.9 liters so yeah pretty close that's pretty good that's pretty good i was uh i was picturing like those milk cartons i'm like i think i can i can down that in a day if i really tried <laughs> that's it for our challenge how was it for you was it hard or easy it was difficult because uh, i'm an american and i don't uh, live live in that measurement system really wasn't that bad i wasn't as off as i thought i'd be but i know a lot of people that aren't from the united states so yeah. bless them they saved me which system do you think is more accurate, the U.S. system or the metric system? Well, of course, metric. It's scientific. It's, yeah, it's way more precise. Okay. They're both accurate, but which one is easier to use and scientifically, et cetera, would be the metric system, obviously. Uh, I'll probably say U.S. system. Why do you think that? Because it sounds better. <laughs> the U.S. system is like a best guesstimate, basically, and they're kind of just making a bottom line this is what we kind of guessing where the metric system is a little bit more accurate in their measurements i feel like if we all went on the metric system that'd probably be really helpful i remember learning in college that the u.s is one of three countries that uses the standard measurement system is that what it's yeah. called and yeah, it's like same. liberia and burma i think yeah. myanmar yes. how do you feel about the fact that the u.s is one of the few countries remaining that doesn't use the metric system I feel like it kind of unnecessarily complicates a lot of things. Um, I imagine that everyone is just scared of switching over. Like, it's such an inherently American thing at this point to not use the metric system. But I think there's no reason not to. It's very stubborn of us, I suppose, in keeping with a lot of the way we behave internationally. I think we need to be yeah. different and, and the world needs to adapt to what we do. Yeah. And that's unfortunate. It's not a very collaborative spirit. I think it's silly that we should switch to the metric system. Maybe they don't because they think it would cost too much money to change every single product and every single mm -hmm. sign and everything. You have to change the entire system that yeah. one of the, you know, the largest country in the world or one of them is built on. I think that's probably the reason I think it should be changed, though, despite the costs and the et cetera. Do you support the U.S. adopting the metric system and why, if you do? I would support it if they wanted to adopt it. Um, I think it is a good system and it's more accurate towards measurements. And But I think it would be difficult for people, especially old people, to make that change. I do. After I die. Why? So then you don't have to don't, learn it? I don't want to have to work that hard. Yes, I do, but I don't think it'll happen in the age of Trump. Uh, I do, because if there are other tourists and stuff that come here they can easily adapt without possibly crashing their car into somewhere going like 100 miles per hour. How would the U.S. go about you know educating people in the metric system if we ever did change? I think one of the ways they need to start with the children in schools and start when they first start school and teaching it that way and usually it starts with children and once they get it then everything else can spread out that way. I think it's an embarrassment. I think our kids should be learning it. I think it's high time that we move. I mean England is where we got the measurement system from. They've been on the metric system uh, and the leader system for the past uh, 50 years. We should be in the same playing field worldwide period. What's your take on the metric system? Should the U.S. just cave in and adopt it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, we have another one where we interviewed Koreans on the U.S. customary units. Uh, be sure to click on that. And if you found this video interesting, be sure to subscribe for more awesome cultural videos here at Asian Boss. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.